Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. There's something that attracts individuals to Egyptian history, whether it's the hieroglyphics, the pyramids, or the way that felines were loved. There's obviously significant interest in this old development. Furthermore, that has clearly pushed archaeologists to uncover however much they can about Egypt's past, including its passing-based rehearses. In view of that, we're discussing mummies here, a group as of late found a mummy that could change how we might interpret Egyptian history. This is the tale of Kova's revelation. Mummy found with bizarre apparel is changing the historical backdrop of old Egypt. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. Kofi was an Egyptian aristocrat who lived around a long time back during the Old Realm period. This part of Egyptian history is known for the ascent of pyramid fabricating, a training what began with ruler Djoser. To get ready for his demise, he recruited the engineer, him head up for a significant reason in that treated the ruler's task extremely in a serious way, and got back with the plan of a gigantic structure reasonable for an Egyptian royal's resting place. What the modeler didn't understand, however, was what large a mean for his work would proceed to have on the Lord's orders him had a plan the step pyramid at Saqqara, after him had Obstet pyramid Egypt's, administering class needed more funerary landmarks, so originators and manufacturers got going. This prompted, in addition to other things, the making of the incomparable pyramid at Giza. A Greek student of history by the name of Heraclitus accepted the development probably required close to 20 years and crafted by nearly 100,000 people. During this season of building wonderful graves for their rulers, the old realm became specked with pyramids. This incorporated a whole compound beyond Cairo, which was the Sakura necropolis. It was inside this exceptionally complicated that Ko was let go. His burial chamber was loaded up with pottery and extraordinarily painted wall plans. These he time glyphs made sense of that Kobe was covered in the fifth tradition. This implies he might have perhaps been connected with that period's pharaoh who was called Jedko Assesi. Pictures painted in colors related with sovereignty and the state of Cohen's burial place are significant proof of this possible relationship. J. Edgar was the eighth lord during the fifth Egyptian tradition. The explanation students of history know about him and other old known entities is a result of the Turin Ordinance. This papyrus incorporates insights regarding each lord time and power. The copyists even had the length of their standard lean to the day. The visit and standard is feeling the loss of a few data since it's a particularly old report and not doing so well. However, the subtleties that remain are indispensable for history specialists concentrating on Egyptian history. From this source, we know Lord Jedko administered Egypt in the wake of ruler man Calver. He was in power for somewhere in the range of 28 and 40 years. Scientists don't make some careful memories range because of disparities in other Egyptian record-keeping curios. J. Edgar is one of the more notable rulers. However, he actually influenced the district. What put him aside was his advantage in the god Osiris. At that point, Lords were venerating Ra had control over any remaining gods and was related with the sun. Osiris, then again, was generally connected to death. He was accepted to be in charge of hidden world life processes, which incorporated the developing of yields and flooding. Osiris engaged Lord J. Edgar. The ruler should manage development of a sanctuary for crude. Yet he was keen on regarding the sun god. He had another thought. Rather than Ra's hallowed site, J. Edgar requested another pyramid for him. And Sakara, the end result was new for J. Edgar, which means English as amazing J. Edgar. It was inside this necropolis in one lord's landmark to his own flawlessness that Ko was covered. A gathering of scientists revealed his embalmed body in 2019. Furthermore, when they uncovered the aristocrat from his burial place, the group found something unprecedented coronavirus was a conventional old realm mummy. Salim Levikram is an Egyptologist from the American College in Cairo, who was essential for the gathering that uncovered Kova's burial chamber. She addressed Smithsonian Magazine in October 2021. In any case, even after the assessment of Kova's cadaver, 
The specialists weren't totally happy with affirming their revelation. The grave might have initially had a place with Kobe, yet his body might have been supplanted with that of an alternate aristocrat. Communicating this suspicion, Vikram said I stay reluctant until we can direct Carbon-14 dating. Assuming this is without a doubt the mummy of Kolei, this will genuinely be a novel revelation that emphatically moves how we might interpret the historical backdrop of the old realm. The mummy's Carbon-14 dating ought to require around a half year to wrap up. On the off chance that the outcomes demonstrate that the preserved body in the burial chamber really is dependably, it would be a huge find for the archaeologists. Other than affirming the time of cutting-edge alteration, this would likewise change the past comprehension of early Egyptian exchanging. While she's anticipating more data, it peace stays amped up for the chance of Kawi being an old realm mummy. She said this would totally turn how we might interpret the development of preservation on its head. The materials utilized their beginnings and the shipping lanes related with them will decisively affect how we might interpret Old Realm Egypt. Nonetheless, it Crum and her group ought to be cautious with regards to upsetting extremely old Egyptian graveyard all things considered. They wouldn't need a rehash of what happened when archaeologists opened Lord Tut's burial chamber, harking back to the 1920s. The demonstration released a mummus revile that ended the existences of various scientists partnered with the disclosure, which is the reason when a puzzling locked chest was subsequently found in the burial chamber. Nobody thought for even a second to open it basically for a period. In any case, interest is something strong. Also, at last, two specialists could never again fight the temptation to open the chest and uncover its antiquated items to the world. This pair was going to impact the world forever a little did they understand they were going to release one more revile upon Egypt in the process. The world was anxious to figure out what lay inside. However, a couple of individuals would have the option to contact the chest in fact. This made a riddle. How might the group show the world what was happening the arrangement was to really film the cautious opening of this strange chest and thought raised by Bethany Hughes, student of history and television host of Egypt's extraordinary fortunes. Hughes had been noticing the chest for her show, alongside different specialists who were setting it up for a gallery presentation at the new excellent Egypt Exhibition Hall in Cairo. To the typical eye, the chest showed up as a basic box, overlooking the way that it was 3,500 years of age. Obviously, after looking into it further, however, it was nowhere near straightforward. Hughes utilized her insight into the past to underscore the one-of-a-kind foundation of the unopened box. One of the things in Howard Carter's unique photos of Tutankhamun's burial place was this mysterious box, she said, beginning around 1923. The crate had been let be and for a notable explanation. At the point when the uncovering of ruler Tutankhamun was being finished, both Howard Carter, an English classicist, and his lender Master Carnarvon tracked down inconvenience. Carnarvon passed on from blood harming a long time after the burial place opened, apparently capitulating to the famous revile of the pharaohs. From that point forward, the secretive chest was immaculate for dread that another revile would be released. Further passings and sicknesses helped fuel the authenticity of the revile. In any case, as the current specialists cautiously prep Lord Tut's chamber for a historical center showcase, they weren't contemplating it. Taking everything into account, it presumably wasn't reviled by any means. They thought, all things considered, that antique hadn't had a place with ruler Tut. Albeit endless antiquities from the 63 burial places found inside Tut's entombment chamber had a place with him. They examined this momentarily, and Dr. Zidan was holding nothing back for it. The cameras were more than prepared. This was a secret 3,500 years really taking shape. Before it would show up at the amazing Egypt Exhibition Hall, Bethany Hughes in the crowds of Egypt's extraordinary fortunes had an uncommon sneak look. Might there be protected design ancient rarities from 1,000s of years prior inside? Under the careful attention of specialist Aiden, and seized the chest's cover was lifted up. Emotional music would later be added to the finished product of the television program, in addition to some close-ups on the essences of the specialists close by to truly extend the uncover. 
in the real room itself. Be that as it may, each one was quiet holding up inside. The greatest astonishment was that there was nothing after all the time since it was abandoned in Ruler Tut's chamber and envisioned behind the scenes of the photo by Howard Carter. The chest of Anka Cinnamon was vacant. However, he was west finished. She inclined in and brought with of the fragrance that floated out from the chest a smell from a long time back. You can smell the wood and the tar. It's unfilled. However, you can smell the set of experiences emerging from it. She commented. She and Dr. Zedon had impacted the world forever, and in their energy, they had disregarded the revile. All things being equal, they were pondering how television crowds would delight in the uncommon sight. The unparalleled antique Ivanka cinnamon had been uncovered. Indeed, no private effects were found. However, the actual piece was as yet significant. The timing was great, as well. It would get crowds energized for an impending mummy presentation, with coronavirus actually influencing going galleries expected to consider some fresh possibilities for ways of renewing overall interest. In Cairo, the service of the travel industry and relics had something at their disposal. Everything planned to work out as expected or so, they thought the thought was to do a broadcast money march. A multi-million dollar event fit for a pharaoh 22 old imperial mummies would make a trip to the public historical center of Egyptian human progress, and there would be pop up and down the way. Streets were even newly cleared to guarantee a smooth, delicate parade way. The pharaoh's brilliant procession was loaded up with high security and celebrated as an open air occasion as coronavirus limitations released along the course. Ruler Ramses, the subsequent sovereign at Shepset, and different aristocrats were regarded by entertainers, an ensemble, and a 21 firearm salute. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.